So a few a few days ago, I did this podcast with Mark Nadal on GunDB. So now I'm actually going to try it out to see see how it works. So this is the website here, and there's a Get Started button here. So let's just click on this to do DAP. Okay, we're going to build a P a P two P D app. This tutorial assumes you have moderate web disperance experience and we'll walk you through each step. Let's start with basic HTML to create a multi-user public to-do app. Okay, so I guess I may need another my phone here to check out the stuff. So we've got a form here, username, password. So, okay. So username and I've got a submit button. It's code editors interactive, it will live update the app. Okay, so first we need to include gun and web RTC. So jQuery gun c dot js. I don't even know what that is. Security encryption authorization. C is split into two parts. Cool, so it's crypto stuff. Cryptography. Nice. Okay, so so add this code to the above interactive editor. <coughs> That's pretty neat actually. I like that. So what did we just do? We imported let me just see if this is a uh, Zoom out a lot bit here. Try it in code pen quickly. That's a bit better actually, let's just do it here. Right. So we included that script. Add this code to the above. CDN is dangerous for script purpose recommending you include the dependence of your app. Okay. What about require import etc. You can do that too. So also instructions. I presume it's probably Webpack or something like that it uses. Script tag, require, import, node, server. Okay. Gun is a graph database, C is cryptographic security library, WebRTC enables P2P connections, Gun is designed to be modular with many layers for a high-level view ecosystem, check out the main readme. Right, let's just check that out quickly. There we go. I've been a bit lazy and not used a mic, so bear with these uh, keyboard presses. Right, so... What did we just import? We imported jQuery, Gun, C, and WebR2C. I guess that is an abstraction over a WebR2C protocol. Right, let's go next. Right, what happened there? The step is not yet finished. What step? Okay, next step. Okay, so we've got actually got more code there added. The first thing I want to do is initialize gun to connect to other peers in the network. To start, let's connect to two peers. One in your local network, which we will show you how to set up later. And one in the public network. I just line to the app, placing the comment. So, so we've got this thing called gun, and we've got this local host, this, and then we've got this thing. Let's just check what that is. Ok, 
okay. Aren't those servers I thought gone was P2P? P2P? Browsers internet firewalls for security reasons won't let you directly connect to other machines unless you're public accessible IP addresses. Airbus uses public signaling servers to coordinate where none. <coughs> Let's read that again. Browsers and even web RTC for security reasons won't let you directly connect to other machines unless they have a publicly accessible IP address. If you have an IP certificate and a firewall to get around this web public signaling servers to coordinate where non like browsers are and attempts to establish a connection. So answer the question, yes, gone, peer to peer, but the internet is not. It's broken and working and fixing with Axe. What's Axe? Advanced Exchange Equation. We have launch. Thank you so much. It's a huge honor to be here. Thank you. I'm going to be talking about a couple of different cool. algorithms, but before That's getting into algorithms, I kind of want to, to do start list. with Hello, why Mark. you care about me <laughs> okay. and what we're Oops, sorry, I pressed the keyboard too hard there. All right, let's keep reading this. So. How do peers discover each other? Gun makes things better by relay peers. They automatically run a signaling server inside of them, but can also be fully decentralized. They have no centralized logic. Even if peers fail to establish a web RTC case, they can still use DAM. Daisy chain ad hoc mesh networking networking. DAM is Gun's default transport layer abstraction and peer to peer network algorithm. Decentralized communications can be out chatty. But it helps hold back an excess for missions by improving upon the base brute force method. Page focus on architectural name, blah 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 blah. This is so cool. Really, really cool stuff. Dam allows for swapping of different transport layers, web as well. Nice. Most of the API deals with community one of messages. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, so, uses to relay messages between peers are not directly connected. They are easy to run, require no maintenance, and it can be deployed in one click. That's pretty cool. Also, it goes to Heroku, right? Okay. Right, soon they'll perform into automatic DHT. I've forgotten what DHT is again. Sounds like a chemical uh, for killing weeds or something. <coughs> DHT. <laughs> right, I keep going, I'll keep going. If you do not want to be pure visit, you'll need to disable DHT feature. You can also run one on your local machine, which is great for dev purposes, right from a terminal. Check the readme if any problems. Here's a good one line from quite a node peer. We recommend you just check the HTML down for better documentation reference. <clears throat> so this is a node thing, I guess. So we got a cluster, cluster is master, cluster fork. Okay, something to do with node and really peers and stuff, clustering. Where does data get stored? Unlike Bitcoin, which has to store all data on its peers, Gun can have any peer store any or all data where what they use the store is used to decide by what data the peer is subscribed to cover this. Really, peers, however, will try to opt into super peer mode and store everything they can. And browsers data will be stored in local storage by default, but it needs to be adapted also because using a radix storage in them. And node rad will by default dump to disk the plugins for AWS. Nice. The step is not yet finished. Uh, oh, yeah, I have to have this line to here. Nice, <laughs> awesome, that's cool. 
Right, so we've got all this code. I like how it starts fresh each time here. Important that the peer topology which machines are connected to a network has nothing to do with. It's important to note that peer topology, what machines are connected to in a network, has nothing to do with user or data security. It might be connected to Alice and Bob, but be syncing data about Carol, Dave, in a perfect secure manner. As such, going to the user system built into the cryptographic primitives. Whoa! All right, what's the user? How to create users? Gun user create. Some powerful stuff. <laughs> and they'll off. <laughs> oh, where was I? Right, so pop off SEA. What's SEA again? Secure to encryption and authorization. Okay. Now I need to add some code to handle user registration and login. So we create a user and click, and uh, the value of the password. Okay. I report when name stands at user chain off of gun user. We use that <coughs> chain context to further user rated operations like not so auth stuff there. Both username passes aren't unique or secure, so correct so B1 usernames are not unique. Yeah logins will still work. And AC does not generate Keys based on passwords, to learn more about its works, check one minute. And I'm capturing cartography. Explainer is serious. When building an application, there is two ways to do security. The real way, and the fake way. Most websites you use today use fake security. When you log under their service, your password gets sent to their proprietary servers, where they check it to see if it's correct, and grant you access to your own data. Where their servers might be in a top secret location, but the problem is that they have access to your password, which means any bad actor, like a rogue employee, a hacker, or government agency, can snoop on your data without you knowing. So, what does real security look like? Rather than your password broadcasting over the internet, instead, you're sent a bulletproof vault with your data inside. If your password is correct, the vault unlocks, but if you're a hacker, it would take a hundred years to crack open, and you'd have to do that for every piece of data sent. So which security would you choose? Well, a gun can certainly be used in the traditional setup, we're going to show you how to build applications using true security instead. You can learn more in our next video. Sweet. Okay. What happens if user forgets a password? The password can be reset without a server. I'm curious. Does gun have some sort of access rights? No, but you can add access rights yourself. Okay. But you so passes can be reset. But you need but need a UX around it before adding that. Yes, if your user gets a password, the account will be recovered. Isn't dangerous for passwords and keys being JS? Yes, but if you aren't careful, user password was be stolen by XSS or other attacks. Be warned, encourage users to meta masks with SC plugins. Right. Continue anyway. Cool. So we've got some buttons now. Do stuff. I've got some placeholders here. Now we can finally build the 2D logic. There are three things I want to achieve. I'm going to actually make this into part two because uh, <clears throat> it's been a long video so far. Cool. Catch you guys soon.